We're going to be especially interested in triangles as we work with the graphs of lines. And fortunately, we have some really nice shortcut ways of knowing whether or not two triangles are congruent. Now there's a reason for that. And it's the same reason that you see so many triangles when you look around at things like buildings and bridges. It's because a triangle is a really rigid shape. If you choose just a few of the properties of a triangle, you're kind of stuck with the rest of the triangle. One thing that you've probably encountered before is, if I choose the lengths of all three sides, there's only one triangle I can make. You probably did this as a kid. You just take, you know, three sticks of different lengths. There's only one way you can put them together to make a triangle. It turns out that we can understand that fact in terms of congruent triangles. Two triangles are congruent if all three sides are the same length. We call this property side, 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 or SSS. All right, so I'm going to draw a picture. Here I'm going to mark the different lengths of the th three sides. If I give you another triangle and tell you that its three sides are the same length, the two triangles must be congruent. Notice the sides with one tick mark match up, the sides with two tick marks match up, the sides with three tick marks match up. That's the way I can show you in a picture that sides are the same length as each other. Okay, there are other ways, though, that we can come up with just one triangle. If I choose the lengths of just two of the sides and how big an angle to have between them, there's only one triangle I can make. So I'm going to draw an example down here. I'm going to choose to have one side that's two squares long, one side that's three squares long, and a right angle between them. Well, the only way I can make a triangle is by connecting these dots. If I do the same thing over here, these triangles are congruent. Again, these two sides are the same length. These two sides are the same length. We can phrase that in terms of congruent triangles as well. Now the last way of telling that two triangles are congruent is kind of the coolest, but it requires an extra fact. If I know two of the angles of a triangle, I can figure out the third one. So, in other words, if two of the angles are the same in a pair of triangles, the third angle is also the same. To see this, I'm going to draw you a triangle. All right, so I'm going to mark these side one, side two, side three. Now I'm going to draw another copy. Again, you see side one, side two, and side three. And now I'm going to draw you yet a third copy, but I'm going to draw it over here. Again, you see side one, side two, and side three. Okay, what's the point? Let's look at the angles. Here's the angle between side one and side two in red. Here's the angle between side two and side three in turquoise. And here's the angle between side one and side three in magenta. Notice how at this point right here, all three angles meet and they form a straight line. That will always happen. If we put the three angles of a triangle together, they will always form a straight line. That's going to help us with the next part. If I choose two angles of a triangle and the length of any side, I can only draw one triangle. So here's what's going on. I'm going to show you a picture. Here's a length of a side. And here's two angles coming out of that. I'm going to make a copy.
and draw the same thing again over here. In order to make a triangle then, I have to extend these angles coming out in a straight line until I see my lines cross. And there's really only one way I can do that. And now we see if I pick up this triangle and move it on top of this triangle, they're actually the same. There are actually two ways that we phrase that in terms of congruence. If two triangles have two angles the same size, here angle 1 and angle 2, and the side between them the same length, then they're congruent. We call that angle side angle. But because of what we said about knowing the third angle if we know two of them, we can instead know that this angle on the top is the same size. If two triangles have two angles the same size and a side that is not between them the same length, they're also congruent. And we call that property angle-angle-side. Notice that I, I really drew the same picture for these two properties, except that up here I marked the, the angle down here. Here I marked the top angle. That's because we're using that thing we know about the angles in triangles to say that actually all three angles are the same.